This video is an introduction to our line of Alsan RS liquid membrane. We will explain how to read our catalyst mixing tables, the tools to use, and the mixing procedure. The Alsan RS product line is a set of products supplied in liquid form, made from polymethyl methacrylate, commonly known as PMMA. Once combined with a catalyst powder based on dibenzoyl peroxide and a non-woven polyester reinforcement, these liquid products become membranes, each playing a different role in the system. Whether it's a primer, a waterproofing membrane, or a finishing layer, the mixing principle remains the same. You will need safety goggles, gloves, plastic containers, a mechanical stirrer, a scale, PMMA-based resin, and the catalyst. Start by mixing the resin in the main container with a low-speed stirrer for two to three minutes. Then transfer the required amount of resin into a smaller container and add the catalyst, following the ratios indicated on the respective product technical data sheets. Mix again for another two to three minutes. It is important to note that adding the catalyst solidifies the resin, and this reaction happens very quickly. This means that within 10 to 15 minutes of mixing, the resin starts to harden and becomes impossible to apply. It is therefore strongly recommended not to mix directly in the original container, but to catalyze only the resin that will be used within the next 10 to 15 minutes, especially when working on details. To determine how much catalyst to use, we will do a concrete example with the waterproof membrane to show you how to use the data found in our technical data sheets. As you can see in the table, there are two types of resin, a winter formulation and a summer formulation. For our example, we will focus on the summer formulation. And since we are indoors, we will use the temperature range of 20 to 35 degrees Celsius. The percentage shown next to it is the resin catalyst ratio to follow every time you prepare a mixture. You can see that for a 12 kilogram container of resin, you will need 0.25 kilograms of catalyst, which is equivalent to 25 Alsan RS spoons. Since we recommend catalyzing small quantities at a time, let's see how to calculate how much catalyst you need for a small amount of resin. It is important to note that the calculation must always be done with the weight of the resin not the volumetric amount. Therefore, it is preferable to use a scale to avoid confusion. Start by pouring a quantity of resin into a plastic container and weighing it. We get 1.34 kilograms. To simplify the calculation, let's convert the kilograms into grams. We get 1,340 grams, which we need to multiply by 2%, resulting in about 27 grams. Weigh the catalyst in a separate container, add it to the resin container, and mix for two to three minutes. Note that the Alsan RS spoon is equivalent to about 10 grams, so it is also possible to use the spoon. In this case, we would have used about two and three quarter spoons. These concepts apply to all products that need to be activated by a catalyst. Just follow the correct percentage indicated on the technical data sheet of the product you are using, based on the temperature at which you apply the product. We would like to end with a very important safety note. Always be careful where the catalyst is stored. This product can catch fire if exposed directly to sunlight or temperatures above 30 degrees Celsius. We recommend storing the product in a cooler on site, away from direct sunlight. That's it. This concludes the introduction to the Alsan RS product line.